Hello from 4 Biology, job the nine. Okay, video number 10. Absorption of food, see so soon. So how the food is absorbed, okay? So in the last video, we understand about the structure called villi on the inner small intestine wall, okay? So under the villi, it contains two types of networks, tube networks. Number one, this is a network of blood capillary, wei xie guan de wang lu. And number two, it will be lactose. Lactose is lu mi guan. Okay, so these two are networks going to absorb the food and send the food into our whole body. Okay, so how is the absorption of food? What are food absorbed by the blood capillary, and what are food will be absorbed by the lactose? Now we go slowly one by one. We one by one. Okay, next. So at the end of the food digestion, inside a small intestine, it contains three types of foods okay three types of sugar or they are mono, monosaccharides glucose galactose and fructose so glucose galactose and fructose after they absorbed by the small villi they were entering what lactose or blood capillary okay so who need the glucose our cell need the glucose for the process called respiration Galactose fructose is also need for respirations. So all the food here, all the sugar here, they will pass through the wall of the small intestine or pass through the epithelial wall of the villi and they will be absorbed into the blood capillary and finally go to our blood circulatory system. Or since they are absorbed into the blood capillary, I using the red color to highlight them. Or why? To must be the blood capillary. So today I using the color to separate them into two groups. Well, you insert fun label there, huh? Okay. Or beside the galactose, glucose, and fructose, in our small intestine is also contains the digested of amino acid. Yes, you will want the amino acid. So who going to absorb the amino acid and send the acid into our whole body? Okay, blood capillary. So for the sugar, together with the amino acid, I give them red color. Okay, they are orange. Or why? Because they will be absorbed by the blood capillary and entering our blood circulatory systems. Okay. Or after the glucose, fructose, and galactose amino acid absorbed by the blood capillary, all the blood capillary will be joined together. 全部的微血管就会结合起来。Finally, they will become the vein. Vein 就会变成了小静脉，要不然就小动脉。And they will be all sent to where? 送去哪里呢 ？They will be sent by the hepatic portal vein to the liver. 啦，它会被一条比较大条的静脉叫 hepatic portal vein. Hepatic 就是肝。我的 vein 总共的静脉呢，就是一条大静脉送去我们的肝。And our liver, when it get the food, it having the process called assimilation. 它会进行另外一个过程叫 assimilation， 就是分配食物。Okay, so amino acid together with all the sugar, they will be absorbed by blood capillary and sent by the hepatic portal vein. 被一条很大的静脉送去我们的肝，给我们肝做分配叫 assimilations. Okay. So copy this part first, and I'll come up again. Why you just pop out like that? Okay. But how the sugar? How the different type of sugar, amino acid, okay, entering the blood, entering the blood capillary? 用什么方法跑进去的呢 ？So you copy one by one. For glucose and galactose, they will be absorbed by the villi by using the method called active transport. Okay, active transport. So they will they will be selectively absorbed by the small villi. These small small villi will be selectively to put them in there with the method called active transport. Its method is called active transport. Okay, but food trust will be different. Food trust will enter our villi by using the method called facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion. And in this case, if you check your notes or your textbook, it will be more clearer. They will give you a table, okay? And will they will be clearer? So sorry about this part. 这一个部分就比较 sorry 的，我忘记不是没忘记了，少给你一个表格。Why? 我直接在这边给答案了。So glucose galactose they will be absorbed by the method called active transport, but fructose will be absorbed by using the method called facilitated diffusion. How about the amino acid? Okay, they will be pumped into the blood capillaries. So finally, this method is also active transport. Amino acid, they use the method called active transport.
Okay. That's right. So beside the protein, beside the okay, carbohydrates, we're also having the digested fat called fatty acid and glycerols. Okay, so how the fatty acid and glycerol absorb into our body? Okay, they will be absorbed into the blood capillary or maybe the lactose, tauti, tire paste, chinari, different. So for whatever that is related to lipid or fat, lah, 跟脂肪有连带关系的 lipid 有关系的呢 they will be all absorbed into the lactose. 它全部被卤米管带走 So I give it green color. Okay, 它青色 So fatty acid guys, so they will be diffused through the wall of the small intestine, the wall of the small bile, right? by using the simple diffusion. 它用的方法呢，只叫 simple diffusion， 简单的渗透。Simple diffusions. But something funny when they diffuse through the wall. When the fatty acid and glycerol diffuse through the wall of the small villi and they pass through the epithelial cells, what happens? Something very funny happen. Fatty acid and glycerol they condense together again. They are then fused together, become the lipid. Now, bring back their lipid. Okay. 刚才解散大半条命，对不对？消化大半条命 ，become fatty acid and glycerol. But now, when they diffuse through the wall, when they pass through the epithelial cell, they will be condensed back into the lipid. Or another meaning, when the lactose absorbs the fatty acid and glycerol, the lactose actually get the lipid. Ah, 它拿到的东西呢就叫 lipid. So please make a note. 写一个 note 在那边 Okay. Fatty acid and glycerol, they will be condensed into lipid when they absorb by the lactose. 它被卤米管带走，不过它带走的时候，它带的不是 fatty acid glycerol. Okay, they are in the form of lipid. Lah. Another meaning, 它在半路的时候 condense 凝聚起来，结合起来，变回它的 lipid. Lah. Okay, and fatty acid glycerol after absorbed by the lactose, they will be sent to what? 它会送送去哪里呢？ They will be connected to the lymphatic vessel, lymph glands, and finally sent to our lymphatic system, to our lymphatic system. Okay, this is the blood flow from the lymph. But for lactose, they will be connected to the lymphatic system, the blood flow all to the lymphatic system. Okay, next, what else? Uh, Besides one, two, three, the digestive food, simple foods, we also having the vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K. But different vitamin, they will be dissolved or absorbed to the different parts. 不一样的 vitamin 去不一样的地方 For those related to the fat, that lipid, vitamin B and A, D, E, K, 这四种 vitamin, okay, they will be dissolved. They are soluble in fat. 它们溶解在脂肪里面 So they will dissolve together with the fatty acid and glycerol and go to the lymphatic system. But how is the process? 它们用什么方法渗透过去的呢 Still the same. Simple diffusion, 一模一样 Simple diffusion. How about B and C? B and C, they will be dissolved into the water. Okay, they are soluble in water, so they will follow the blood capillary and go to the blood circulatory system. So B C, they will be absorbed by the blood capillary, and all the vitamin here, they will be absorbed through the wall of the small villi by using the method called simple diffusion. 就是简单的渗透过去吧。OK， 还有什么东西呢 ？One, two, three, three macronutrient 大型的食物。OK， 维他命 ，Next mineral， 下一个就叫 mineral。OK， so mineral will be again entering the water。OK， they will dissolve into the blood capillary。So mineral entering the blood capillary。But how the mineral absorb into the blood capillary？ Most of the time, they are using the method called active transport. Okay, active transport. Pumping, say, 要和不要，要和不要，要和不要了。Active transport. But in this case, actually, in your notes, ah, they don't talk about mineral. 在我们的 notes， 他没有讲到 mineral， 所以不要讲，不用讲了。新的 notes， 新的那个 textbook 没有提起 mineral。他什么都提起，他偏偏不要讲 mineral. Okay, so maybe my active transport is wrong. 可能有太多种，太复杂，他提起也不要提起。OK， next， how about water？ Water will be sim simply diffused through the wall of the small villi by using the method called osmosis。OK， osmosis。所以水的用的方法呢，就叫 osmosis。But most of the water， OK， they will be absorbed inside the 
large intestine. 等一下，它会直直走去大肠那边啊。But small intestine also absorbs some water. Okay, 第六种食物了。And how about another fiber? Fiber will not be absorbed into the small intestine. 它完全不能被吸收。So this is absorption of food. Okay, so after the absorption, the food will be sent to the liver, 送去我们的肝 and sent to the lymphatic system for another process called assimilation. Always mean by assimilations. Okay, we continue in the next video. Okay, set up. Bye bye.